Hello you guys, it's me Rachel from Down Under. I'm just joking. <laughs> not even funny. It's not even funny. It's not. This is my sweet baby Asia. Damn my sweet baby. Look at my sad face. Look at the sad face. And her baby. This is her baby. The bestesses. The kisses. No, get off me, woman. Um, so, she's inside. It's really cold out. And, um... And she doesn't have a thick coat. Hey, quit, 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 quit. Get down. Um, and she got... She got a little bit of a tummy thing. And, um... And so I was a little worried. She didn't want to eat too much. And so she's not like... She's not, like, too skinny, but I just was like, oh, I don't want her outside if she's not going to be nice and plump. Um, so I've got her inside. Now, this is actually the first time I've ever had her around Velocity, and Velocity's angry about it. But she's handling it quite well. Um, Patina is handling it quite well. Oddly enough, he was the one trying to give his mother a hard time when she was walking in the door. He's being a bit of a jerk. Had to get on to him. Preacher laying down. I got my kimchi. And we're all just settled down for this 25 degree evening. We got the fire nice and lit. And uh, we got the TV on. Uh, hey, Savannah. Uh, we need to decorate for Christmas. Reese got that done today. She she got more that more than us done. Are you a sweet baby? Did you more baby Asia? You know I love you. You're such a sweet baby. I wish I could have them all in right now, but bruh, not everything has to be about you. <sighs> um Anyway, yeah, I wish I could have them all in, but there's just not enough room in my house for every single dog I own. But we do try to take turns. Don't act like you haven't seen my cat, Asia. You've seen my cat. She's like, I don't know about that. Let's see what she thinks about the fireplace. Just sweet baby. Look at the gato. Meow. 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 You look so cute. Do you ever play with that? I don't think so. He loves his cat tree. I will tell you that. You see my new lamp? I love it. I have one for my bedroom that I'll have to show you guys. It looks pretty cool. What are you doing, Asia? You need to feed my poor baby Asia. <sighs> We're having to like double feed her now that she's I don't know what it was, but she just had a bit of a... She didn't have no fever, no nothing. But she had the runs for a couple days. And then wasn't... She kind of went off her food. And I was thinking I was going to have to take her to the vet. And then, boom, she was done. She was like, I guess I'm over it. I was talking with Reese about it. And she said that um, her mother-in-law came in and they had... They had something similar, and I'm wondering because she she was over here for Thanksgiving, and um, I'm wondering it's it's wild how things will track in with dogs. It's 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 pretty crazy, is what I'll tell you. Um, but she's fine, so it doesn't matter. Look how gorgeous. She's such a pretty girl. I wish my camera didn't suck so bad right now. 
Beautiful dog, though. Gorgeous dog. With Preacher about to be seven years old. And it kind of jumped up on me. I'm wondering. I'm thinking about maybe putting them together. Asia and Preacher together. Um, I don't know. I'm not a huge breeder. And so I don't have like a ton of space either and I've got quite a bit of preacher stuff so I don't know well hello there kitty cat making a bunch of noise I'm glad she popped a spot over by the fireplace that makes me happy I don't know why but I just love it seeing a dog like laid out in front of the fireplace it just makes me happy if I was a dog that's where I would be right in front of that dang fireplace but yeah we got asia in here though um you know i had to get on to velocity at first and i basically let her know that there was going to be no fighting there's going to be no nonsense and she's going to behave herself and asia was more than willing to behave herself and so it worked and um And I'm glad because honestly, I had not tried to, I had not tried to integrate Asia into any, any kind of pack setting because I hadn't really been doing any kind of pack stuff. Um, I really had to get control over my house and a lot of just things about my house for me to be able to manage having the dogs. And now, now we've got it and I have all of these barriers to keep them. I'm using these big metal gates that are made for kennels um, or like fenced in areas. And I'm using those um, to block off areas. So like none of these dogs can go anywhere. They can't go upstairs. They can't go in the kitchen. They can't go, you know, ring around the rosy as far as my house is concerned because it's one big loop and they like to run around. And so since they're stuck in here and they know I'm watching, they're behaving themselves better and and so it's good and i'm hoping that i can actually start getting back to having more of a um more of a pack setting for the dogs where um where i can have you know have them out as like a pack and not and not really be too worried about it <clears throat> um i think this is going to be the generation for it i think i had to skip a generation because switch I think is fine so far from what I've seen and Ibiza like many of those dogs I think will be okay the females I think will be okay um and even Don Juan uh, seems pretty good but Grimm and Batista those two right there I don't know about them um Grimm is very 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 disrespectful and I'm working with him on it but um, it's very much a part of his, just, just who he is. He's a very dominant, cocky dude and, um, and very mischievous. So we'll have to see whether or not he ends up getting to be a pack dog or not. Um, leaning more towards no, but he may surprise me. Um, I will give him a shot. Batista, obviously not, right? We know that. Um, but everybody else I think is good Mona for the most part is good Mona's a pretty dominant female and I think that there are um certain like her and Blondie they don't really want to get along right now um I can do it in the house I'm sure I've had them around each other but when they go out there's like this excitement of them running outside and then they want to challenge each other and so there's that whole moment so we're gonna have to see about that but um what's up sweet baby oh look at you you want to come here don't you you're your baby asia come me on you're your baby yes you are sweet baby you're so respectful she wanted to walk to me but she was afraid about walking around everybody this is my baby asia see this is where all the asia babies get their fantastic temperaments 
from their mother. She's a dream dog. Worth her weight in gold. Yes, you are. You're worth your weight in gold. Only thing that sucks is, like, I love my dog so much that I really do wish I could have them all in at one time, but, man, it's just not possible. I have too many of them. I have too many. Right now, I literally have... I have three dogs in the other room because I've got Blondie, Tillicum, and Matt Mortigan in his kennel. And then, um, and thank God he has a vet visit tomorrow at three. And then I've got, so it's three, and then I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then Savannah's got one upstairs. So ten dogs in the house right now. <sighs> ten dogs. So... Now, I will say that we did place out quite a few dogs recently. Um, Chala is gone. Yuki is gone. Zoe is about to be gone. She's going to go with Vicky. And, um, and so we're, you know, we're definitely, um, uh, not, we don't have as, as many as we had before, but... But, uh, but anyway, just kind of narrowing down and making room, um, for some genetic diversity, like Yuki and Zoe, both of them, I have a lot of their genetics. Um, and then Chala, I just, the energy was just for me. It was just too much for me. I don't want, I don't, I've already like Patina is, is high energy. It's, it's controllable. She's got a good mind, but, um, I just didn't want another one like the, the, you know, especially in the females. Like I really do believe that your temperaments come from your females. And so, um, I just, I was like, nah, I'm not going to bring in more craziness because Trinity's puppies are already kind of turned too. Cause Trinity had a higher energy level. And so I just knew I was like, nah, Savannah, I'm pretty sure that I asked you to do something, child. I'm gonna do it after you're done with your video. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You want some extra food? Some extra food? Extra? So you can put them pounds back on? Yeah. Yeah. You can put them pounds back on. Yeah, you're so sweet. I love her so much. Anyway. Well, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch some TV, try to relax, and we'll probably do some some Christmas. Um, I don't know why y'all, but like last year, I was so ready for Christmas. I literally decorated for Christmas before Thanksgiving, and this year it just is so weird. It doesn't really feel like the holidays to me. It really doesn't. And every time I think about decorating for Christmas, I just think, oh, I'm just going to have to take it right back down. And then I told Reese, I was like, okay, if I do it, I'm, I'm leaving it up. Like, I am literally, like, I don't care. I will leave it up for, like, months. <laughs> I'm going to get my, my, I'm going to get my worth of, my joy's worth. I'm not sure that's the right way to say it, but. <sighs> yeah, so. Anyway, well, I hope you guys are having a good day, and I'll talk at you later. Bye.